do and her needs to leave or you'll be arrested for trespass. Are you kidding me? That's a police officer threatening to arrest stranded passengers who are waiting in line to reschedule their canceled Southwest flights. Imagine being stranded and then threatened with arrest. Let's watch more. Go. Are you filming that? Yeah. Okay. Right now, everybody to the unsecured side. The ticket counter will help you with any questions you have. Go. For trespass? Yes. You have no ticket, you don't need to be in the secured side. Let's go. Let's keep going. The ticket just got canceled. Now, I want to mention that in the video, it's really hard to pick up on it, but there's a woman wearing yellow and she identifies herself as an attorney. That's gonna be relevant as we learn more about this story. Now, um, the clips are posted online. Later, uh, the individual who posted the video online posted uh, uh, a second video of the encounter and wrote the following caption on it. Mind you, we left and went to another line after we left the first one. By the way, I should note, this is in Nashville, Tennessee at the airport there. The cop then followed us to this line and picked us out specifically out of a line full of people. We were not the only ones in the second line that came from the first line either. He picked us out. You said you're gonna arrest people for trespassing yes. for being at a ticket counter for a If you flight. don't have a valid ticket, then you're on the secured side to refuse to leave, you will be arrested. We do have tickets, we have okay. valid tickets. tickets, they're just not to Washington DC or Phoenix. All right. Well, if your ticket is canceled, you no longer have a ticket. You understand that, right? Oh, because they rescheduled you. No, they don't. They tell you to we are told at the counters that we have to see a CSA. We were told. Well, right now, Southwest is calling us because you guys are congregated right here and they're trying to close that gate. No, sir, we're not congregated. We're telling you. We're to get information. Okay, well, we're telling you your information is at the ticket counter. Please go to the ticket counter. I'm just trying to make the legal connection. I'm All right, there's a TCA sure called Airport and Aircraft Security that says if you're told to leave and you can't, and you refuse to leave, with a valid ticket at a ticket You don't have a valid ticket. Your ticket got canceled. So my ticket, so the instruction we got somewhere else. All right, well the instruction you're getting now. Can you can you cite the statute for me so I can make sure that when I go and refer to it, I have a clear understanding, it's Mr. Ali? Airport and aircraft security. You don't have a I don't section need, number I don't need to that? Give you the code. Okay. If you're an attorney, you can look it up in section I will, 39. I will, sir. Sir. I will, thank you very kindly. That video does show how the cop is struggling to answer questions, legitimate, credible questions from the passengers who literally just had their flights canceled by Southwest during the Christmas holiday. Why are you threatening to arrest us? We are in line to try to book a different flight so we can get to where we need to go. Now, with that said, and you saw in the video, the woman in the yellow identifies herself as an attorney. With that said, uh, this video goes along with the caption I read earlier where the uh, travelers go to a second line and it appears that the cop specifically picks them out in the second line. Let's watch. I have a valid ticket that says it departs at 1136. Okay, show me your ticket. Is she it not right doing that right there? Show me your ticket, please. I'm happy to show you my ticket. Let me call grandma. Mom, I'm gonna have you on speaker because I want you to hear. Okay. Do you practice in Davidson County? Just out of curiosity, you don't have to answer that. Yeah, I know. So, say if your flight is for tomorrow, say if your flight gets canceled, it is canceled. Boarding at 12:27, right? So you're supposed to. What were you doing at 12:27? They, this line was long. They told us to go to any gate, any Southwest gate. Okay. So did they tell you your flight was canceled? Is that why you were not? I don't know what's going on. Sit down for me right here. Yeah, I want my tickets back. Mm. I'm gonna go talk to them, figure out. Okay, well then we can go with you. you. Yeah, you can come with us. Yeah. Notice how his tone changes once he starts typing something into his phone. He asks the attorney if he's where, where she's practicing law. She, he types something in his phone, probably to confirm that she is in fact an attorney. And then his tone changes. He's a lot nicer. He's not threatening arrest out of nowhere. Look, we don't know exactly what went on and why these threats of arrest were happening in the middle of this chaotic situation where Southwest Airlines was canceling thousands of flights and leaving 
travelers just stranded in airports all across the country during the Christmas holiday. But it's infuriating, Jenk. I watched that video and I have like PTSD because of how unbelievably awful air travel has become in the United States with these deregulated mega merger airlines that don't think that they need to do a damn thing about customer service. Yeah, I've been known to have altercations at the airport given how frustrating it can be. And this is the billionth example of it, but it only gets worse and worse and worse. And it trickles, of course, from the top down. And so look, there's two giantly frustrating parts of this. Number one, you get your flight canceled and sometimes those tragic consequences as we'll see in a little bit. Uh, and you're trying to figure out how to get on the next flight. Next thing you know, they're threatening to arrest you. You're like, wait a minute. First of all, I'm the grief party. You canceled my flight that I already paid for out of nowhere, destroyed my holidays, and now you're threatening to arrest me? I mean, on that alone, that's just a billion percent insane. But having watched many of those videos, you will you also see passengers who aren't in any way related to this controversy. Who are just on a layover and the cops start rounding them up. Yep. No, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not on that flight and I'm not on that flight. I'm just on a layover. I'm just trying to get somewhere else. So this is totally, it's madness. It is. And, but you know, Anna, you're right to point out the oligopolies, et cetera, because now airlines, since there's no government looking out for nope. any citizen, feel like they can crush you ad nauseum. And there's not a goddamn thing you could do about it. Well, I mean, it's interesting because if I were Pete Buttigieg, you know, he's trying to cover his own ass right now because of the lack of oversight that we're seeing from the transportation department, which of course he's the secretary of, and he's not, in my opinion, he doesn't have the expertise or the experience to lead that federal agency, but he is because this is how our government works, right? Favor for a favor, dropped out of the race to help Biden out during the Democratic primary. So of course he gets a top post within his administration. With that said, you know, if I were Pete Buttigieg, what I would be talking about right now on national television is how Southwest Airlines in particular is supposed to give by law, by law, a refund, a reimbursement, not a voucher, okay? People who have their their flights canceled by law are supposed to get a refund. That is what the fine print indicates. But he's not saying that, which I think is fascinating. Why isn't he saying that? Why isn't he making it abundantly clear that Southwest Airlines and all these other airlines that have canceled flights in the middle of the holiday have a responsibility to give reimbursements to the customers they screwed over? Instead, he's yeah. like talking about like, oh, in the summer we had this verbal agreement. And I got this cool dashboard going where you can, you know, look up what kind of you know deals or what kind of customer service you can expect from these airlines. Hey, how about you actually enforce the laws? How about you do that? That'd be real nice. Yeah, Anna, so this goes to what is wrong with a lot of American politics right now. So Fox News had a graphic saying that Mayor Pete stranded people in, in these different cities. No, he didn't do it, Southwest did it. So you have Fox News lying in a weirdo, needless way to blame uh, Buttigieg for something he didn't do. When it's just sitting out there for, in terms of blaming him for something he did do, which is the point you're making, Anna, which is he could actually go out there and fight for you guys. Yeah, Southwest did it initially, but he can say, no, they owe you refunds. Mm-hmm. You know what would happen? People would love that. Why don't they do it? Because they're obsessed with serving corporations and their donors. And that's why they don't do things that are super obvious if you're looking to be popular and actually represent the voters. And that's exactly what's wrong with the current day Democratic Party. And I mean, for someone like Pete Buttigieg, you can just keep failing upward where Biden will handpick you to lead a department, a federal government agency that you really have no expertise in. So there you have it. That's the way politics works in America. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.